big pimping shot right here. You want be Ooh, man, you saw that shit? Look at that shit. Okay, children, our first lesson for the day is how to beat up. My responsibility is now to do everything. Well, I'm gonna keep it real. Okay, yeah, please do. There's a show we keep it real. Bone Thugs in Harmony, arguably the most original rap group ever. With their sing-song style, they've enjoyed their share of success, but they've also faced their share of tragedy and controversy. But despite the rumors of their breakup, they're back with their fourth album, BTNH Resurrection. One World caught up with one of the members of the group, Busy Bone, on his way to the studio, and he talked to us about the rumors, the new album, and the future of the group. Come on, One World, I'm about to take y'all in here with the Here we are BTH Resurrection, it's just like the resurrection of, of Bone Thugs and Harmony as a, as a group, as a whole, as a unit. The paper, paper video, Resurrection, it's, uh, it was to answer questions. It was a lot of questions from people who were wondering, what's going on with Bone Thugs and Harmony? I see the solo stuff, I see the Mo Thug stuff, I see the Thug Line stuff. What about the root? What about Bone Thugs and Harmony? So we wanted to bring it at them and let them know this is what's going on and we hear what you're saying and we feel what you're saying within bone thugs and harmony it's it's a five member group as far as flesh and bone goes he's he's the he's the soul of this thing you know he's the one who brought the bus tickets for us to get here lazy bone he's the He's the, uh, he's, the, he's the leader, he's the spokesman. You know, he's always been that as far as Bone Thugs and Harmony goes crazy. He's the, uh, he's the chemist. He's the scientist of the group. Wish and Bone, he's the heart. He's the heart of the group. He's the, the strength behind it. it. Come on, let's do this. Let's, let's just stick together, stick this bush out, and let's do this. And you know, I, I don't like to blow my own design, so I'll... <laughs> you know I could. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, uh... I, I believe that um, I believe that I bring a certain harmony to the group. You know, it's a brother relationship. Brothers fight. Oh, they get down. Oh, they tear the room up. We done tore some hotels completely. It's some hotels out in Los Angeles that if you mention Bone Thugs and Harmony, you can't even walk in there. Oh no. Oh hell no. Not Bone Thugs. Is you crazy? One thing that separates Bone Thugs in Harmony from other groups is the messages and spirituality of their music. Also, they're one of the few hip-hop groups that doesn't seem to exploit women. The spiritual message that Bone Thugs in Harmony is trying to get to people and trying to get across is a message of love, patience, forgiveness, and, and the worldly view of what's going on and, and, and what, we, what we can speculate from it, what we get from it, our, our aspect to it, how we feel about it, and how young, black, ghetto, not just black, Latino, white, ghetto America feels about what's going on. Look into my eyes and tell me what it is you wish you look into my eyes. As far as women go and bone thugs and harmony, we've never felt like we should <clears throat> disrespect women because we, most of us came up in single parent homes, you know, where mama was mama and was daddy and was inspiration and was, you know, was the backbone of us sticking together. As far as us exploiting women, we've gotten a few video treatments that had a few um, disrespectful things in it, but we never felt like it was a need or a want to do that. The question came up about sex symbol. I really don't consider myself a, a sex symbol. Now, my mother would say different, but, uh, as far as sex symbol goes, nah, I really don't think that, but I, I, I do appreciate people saying I got fair, fairly good looks and things like that. It's, um, I'm flattered. We represent the panic, it's schizophrenic and panic. Maybe the fans would understand. If they get up, they mad. How do you manage? Paranoid, don't even trust my boys. I put a side and deploy. Drugs and alcohol can be a big part of hip-hop and celebrity lifestyle, but Busy is making a change. I quit drinking, quit smoking, lie. And I still smoke my cigarettes, as you can tell. But um, 
just to, you know, help me, help me move along. It's, it's, my voice feels better, my mind feels better. It helps me personally to uh, be able to sit down and be patient and, and to be able to think out what needs to be thought out, you know? And because everything really does need to be thought out in this business. The group plans to release several singles from the album and possibly a summer tour. Well, the next single on the Bone Thugs and Harmony Resurrection album is Can't Give It Up. And that's, it's, um, it's really us kind of we're talking to each other on it and, and, you know, letting people know some things. But if it's always something you got to give up to get everything you want. But what if it's something you can't give up? I can feel the vibe. See, with Bone Thugs and Harmony, it's been a lot of, it's been a lot of uh, questions from people about, you know, what, what's going on with us and, and do we get along and how do we work together. To really just break it down, we're five men who grew up together as children on the streets, hungry, you know, and who had to rely on each other. I lean on lazy shoulder, lazy leans on crazy shoulder, crazy on wish, wish on flesh. And, um, you know, we had problems, just like anybody else. It'd be phony to say, I, lo I love them, well, I love them, but to say I like them every day. I like what everything they do, I, I agree with. No, of course not. It, it's, uh, we got questions for each other. We like to talk things out, but at the end, at the end of the, the argument or the conversation, whatever you want to call it, we always can look at each other like, damn, we made it, though. Give it up, gonna be all.